Alright guys, uh, here we are again with the park. This is uh, episode 2, so welcome. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. Uh, this game, I'm hoping, is just going to get creepier and creepier, which is exactly Callum. what we want from this experience. Tell mommy where you are. On Callum. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. So in the last episode, we found out that um, Chad's a little bit crazy, and he's kind of a stalker. Um, also, that swans aren't as beautiful as everyone says they are. Surprisingly enough, we uh, heard a, a nice little rendition of the Hansel and Gretel story, and uh, things so far are all hunky dory. I don't think they could have been any better. Callum? What's this over here? I've been reading about the park a little bit. It seems like some dude, old man Henderson, was into some crazy crap, and that's not very good. Let's see this. Examine poor. Oh, Lord. I remember this. Oh man, who? Why would this. Look at my smile! Oh no. This is kind of sad, actually. I'm definitely gripping his hand and angry, and he doesn't look good either, so. My smile. You're gonna take this picture, you piece of shit, Callum. God, if my name is Callum, anyways. Oh, let's go ride this ride, dude. Whoa, Callum. Calm your crap down, man. I don't need any of that. I can't get on while it's moving. Well, what am I supposed to do? Turn it off? Decrease speed. Decrease more? Come on. Stop. I wanna ride. Yeah! The Octotron! Oh no. What's gonna go wrong in it? Oh. Oh god. This is plays on a personal fear. I don't like these spinning things because they could do crap like this. Oh god. Chad's in there. Chad's in the law office thing, isn't he? Someone's in there. Oh my god. I like that. I wouldn't have noticed that unless I looked at it, and I did. I, uh, maybe I don't like that. Hello? I see you in there. What is that? I don't want to go. Keep it going. I want to stay. Sir? Don't worry, he vanished. Okay. Where are you? Over here. Don't whisper in my ear, Callum. It's not nice. Callum, where are you? Callum. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. Aww. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. That's so deep. This is sad. This is, like, emotionally scarring. Yeah, but that, that actually does play on one of my fears. I'm always afraid that, like, something's gonna go wrong in the, in the machines, because it happens. Machines, they, they go faulty. The speed's gonna go up, the hinges aren't gonna hold, I'm gonna fly off, people are gonna die, and it's not gonna be pretty. I don't want that to happen. Call Come him? to mommy, Callum. Callum! Stop whispering, please. Don't tell me that you know the truth. It's this? Okay, so that was... Oh, okay, so we've already been through... Two of them, maybe? 
through things. Is that entrance? Yeah. I want to go to the House of Horrors. That sounds like fun. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Callum, please. Go. I love you. Where are you? This is sketchy. Man, why is everyone writing on like the weirdest paper choice? I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so m most of the staff spend their days just standing and gossiping. And most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve. See? Even I am starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning it was a laugh. Steve the local lush as Chad. The chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. Oh, that's so mean, poor guy. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. Oh god. But then I saw him at Susie's diner still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained, discreetly of course, uh, to the park management about the smell. And I saw him wearing it and talking to Mr. Winter, of course the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since last I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the cycle station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean up ice sculpture. Dang! Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Well, they gave other people the creeps too, dude. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me. And he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seems like he was just staring at me. Sizing me up. I fucking me. Whatever he was doing. Well, that's. That's a very clever way to put it. I fucking. Jeez. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad. Well, Steve. Wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. Oh, because it was a female. I thought I was a dude. Right. Come back. Okay. What, you didn't think I was going to see that coming? I so saw that coming. Stop, Callum! Mother Duck said quack, 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 oh god, quack. Callum, you're such an asshole. How you get... Is there a dead body in there? Come out, sweetie. This way, mommy. That was intense. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Hello. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to go in there. God, I so saw that coming, and it still like skipped a beat when it happened. Jeez. All right. So there is more to this than we know. Callum, tell that mommy where creepy. you are. Goodness. All right, what do we have now? Constant like? crashes in '80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Come back, Callum. Like bumper carts. Freaking love bumper carts, man. Come back here right now. Where are you, Callum? Doesn't like turn on a mirror there. Callum, stay where you are. Oh, one of them's turned on. Okay. Hello. You left your lights on. Accident report. Another one. Okay. <laughs> the shakes. Um, let's see, this is Francis de Frenze, 1976 in October. Laborers working on the crane. Oh no, Lawrence. 
During the transportation of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Well, Francis died instantly. Did they see a doctor? Yeah. Oh, man. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the other side of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Oh, no. Have you been smoking that ganja, Dexter? Uh, double checking the straps after transit should be a mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Yep, he was smoking that ganja. The local laborers are very superstitious, and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work. Wow, okay. What? Who's there? Oh, okay. Move! Move! No, no moving? Alan, why did you go? Okay, I'm scared now. Hear baby crying. Callum! Stay where you are! Don't do this to me. This place is haunted in here, baby crying. Callum, where did you go? Tough break, tough break. Hello? God. Stay where you are! Callum! You're putting. It's a matter of public through. record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. Wow. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd wow. rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. This girl's going through some deep, like, uh, traumatizing whatever. Leaving your kid in the car. Come on. He's smarter than that. Read this page. He's Continually delayed by the inc incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals, so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. Rumors, I'm pretty sure. Sound like more and more real. They grow up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here it makes my skin crawl. I called a few favors back in Brooklyn, and I got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. It turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Winter? is isn't very smart of you. You're, you're delving into powers you probably shouldn't be. Callum! Tell Mommy where you are! I'm liking this, though. We're like going through, and we're like going through each ride. Which is exactly what I was hoping, because Mommy is coming, Callum. Amusement parks are terrifying when it comes to like final destination crap. Let's see. Don't be afraid. Who's in here? Hello. Mommy is coming, Callum. Let me decrease the speed so I can ride this bad boy. Let me get on the Ferris wheel. Man, the Ferris wheel is even more. You're gonna go to the top and like fall apart. Where are you, Callum? I would love to ride the Ferris wheel. Thank you. Oh man, he's in there again. Oh no. 
how fast can a Ferris wheel go, right? <laughs> I'm still sure it can go deadly fast. Oh man, why did I even get in this? Look how rusty it is too. Jeez. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things yeah, are different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know <laughs> how to describe that walk. True gentleman. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Aww. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. Sex on like the that first one day? Perfect night. Don and I moved the in together, but night. then, well, he died. According oh, okay. to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, that's sad. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh, that is really sad. But at least you got each other, right? Right? No. Okay, I understand. Was that it? This is the entire room. That was spooky. Hey, buddy. Are you being nice? Wow. That guy is creeping me out, though. He's just popping up everywhere. That was just like a 100% story, but still worth it. Alright, moving on to the next scene. Let's do this. Callum! 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 Stop crying like a baby. You're like seven now. Come on. Uh oh. What's that? Alright, so what in the hell is going on in this place? Stay where you are. Oh god. Whoa. Alright, um how convenient. Where are you? Where are you? Callum! 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 Please, Callum, tell me where you I are! I keep saying Callum instead of like Callum and vice versa. Callum? Tell mommy where you are! Come on, Chad's out here and Chad's crazy. I mean, Steve! Callum, where are you? Isn't it funny? Chad? A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. Oh god. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life sucking wow. monsters who take and take and take until. <sighs> hey, that's we pretty all honest. Go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. <laughs> it served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Damn. This is getting so psychological. She kind of has a point, though. Pretty, pretty messed up. I guess we get to ride the roller coaster now. Yeah. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Well, here we are. It's the first time for everything, right? Alright, let's hope this one doesn't go catastrophically wrong and, uh, stop that. Stop squeaking. And, uh, Final Destination's us right in the face, because that would suck. Where are 
are you? Callum! Ups and downs. Alright. You in there? Yep. Hey, buddy. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of oh, what God. we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Oh, God. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. The witch has us? Just, just leave me alone. Who are you? Fool. You always were. Uh-oh. Don't let go. Oh, goodness. Whoa, what's going on? Oh man, this is trippy. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting quiet here because I'm getting. Oh, whoa. Ah! This is quite the roller coaster. Okay. So is that that guy who's been been doing all the things? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just hit my son. Okay. That's kind of traumatizing. Right. Whew. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that bad, let's be honest. I mean, I've seen worse. Come back! It works! The calculations and adjustments worked. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling... Sour? Down? Dour? I can't read, I didn't even take an English class. So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Mr. Winter. This isn't a game, Callum! You, Mr. Winter, have some issues? Callum, where are you? My, my, I'm terrified. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! I'm really not. Oh no, another dark window. <gasps> Flashlight! The witch awaits. Oh, that was a deep... Wow. How do I use my flashlight? Oh? I can help you, Callum! Hello? Can you tell me how to use my flashlight? Hello? Game? Callum! I Callum! Don't... I don't know how to use my flashlight. Okay. Okay. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. Oh god. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and oh, turns and creepy. cries out words that I cannot understand. That's creepy. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Whoa, Callum. I think Callum. he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering <laughs> what is to this him game? in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. That's I sketchy. Can't save him. And there Again. will be pain. Don't give up. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Oh, man. Okay, this is going so much deeper than I thought. This... Oh, I couldn't even come up here. Okay. Mr. Winter's, like, harvesting bad emotion for fueling his... his immortality machine? I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. This is... This is so creepy. This is... I can't understand 
and yet it's also awesome. I like it. Okay, what is this? We're at the side show alley. Alright, Chad. I don't want any of your bullshit, alright, Chad? Steve! Okay, well, um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, a lot happened. This is crazy. I like this game. I hope whoever's watching this is enjoying it too, but this is just, oh man. Wow, this should be like around 20 something minutes or so, but. Whew! There has been some rides, some destruction, a crazy narrative that's been going on, and, um, I guess. I guess I'll just. Oh man, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, episode 3, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.